Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, last update video for the uh, Inkscape 1.1 release cycle. Uh, today is May Day and um, we are basically at the uh, end stretch for the 1.1 release. My name is Mar Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer, I'm trying to develop features and fixes for, for, for users. And uh, before we get into what this week's activities looked like, I want to give a big shout out, a big th thank you to all of my patrons for your continued support, uh, and also to all of the other um, people that support me. Thank you all so much. Um, I couldn't do this without you. So uh, what do I mean when I say that this is the last uh, developer week? So once a, once a release can candidate is cut, that's basically the end mark for the for the Inkscape uh, developer site cycle. Now we pass it on to the the vectors team. This is a team of outreach people who decide when to actually make the release itself. Make sure that all the translations are in from the translation team. Uh, tidy up any loose ends, uh, but none of that needs to involve the the, the developer team. So, from my perspective, um, I've kind of reached the uh, the finishing line to uh, to a greater degree. And uh, this week was a busy, uh, it's quite stressful week actually, but for getting all of these issues tidied up to make sure that we don't need to patch or delay the release, um, because we want to make sure that the release camp candidate is functionally the same thing as you would get in, in the final release. Um, so what did this week look, look like? So I continued the work from last week of the the making sure that the extensions manager worked on Win windows making sure that it's an optional installable so if you don't want the extensions manager installed you can actually uh, uncheck it in in the installer and you don't have to have it and that all works doesn't crash like if it's not available for example um there's bug fix fixes there are so many bug fixes but let's start with uh, some small ones like the opening uh, old files with vertical text had some I issues. It was converting the court coordinates wrong, basically tre tre treating the x coordinate as the y court coordinate and clobbering the date and data. Uh, that's fixed. Um, there was a bug in the measurement tool. It was saving the the, the coordinates that you would draw on with the, the measurement in as an integer, so like whole num num numbers, which means that as soon as you uh, brought those measurements back, i.e. selected a different tool and selected back the measurement tool, it would jump slightly uh, simply because it was it was adhering to the to the integer grid, um, and it would get worse with different uh, different different units. Uh, that's been fixed. Um, the the app I images these are these are builds for Linux machines where they can download the the, the fixed uh, Inkscape. Those were crashing, and uh, on on older Ubuntu machines, eighteen oh four, uh, sixteen oh four, older Debian Debian state stable, and a couple of other distributions. Normally, we wouldn't have fixed it because. It, we support. We try to support like the latest long-term support release of Ubuntu, but uh, there were so many people who were were tripping over this issue. It was clear that the there's a, there's a, a lot of Inkscape users that are using uh, older Ubuntu releases, and who are uh, continuing to use Inkscape, and they want to use the the latest version of Inkscape, and they're using the app images to, to do that. Um, so we figured out. I figured out what the issue was with. Um, G, G, G schemas, G schemas. Figure out how to implement that in the app image builder so that those don't crash anymore. Um, so that should be fixed now. Um, a big one that I spent quite a lot of the week on was this uh, cascading bug. Now we wanted to get this fixed because it was affecting the tutorials. It was creating a black uh, element at the bottom of of tutorials as well as being bad for many many types of files that you would open and instead of the color that you expect um, as soon as you tried to move the, the object it would just turn black which is weird now admittedly this only affects strange files that are, are created in programs outside of Inkscape or generated by scripts um, but at the same time the the problems in Inkscape CSS implementation its style the way that it saves and cascades style between ob objects um, was cl clearly had issues 
And so I had to very carefully work through uh, what was going on. Um, and, and it took a long time. Even though the change it's, itself, the final change is maybe a handful of lines, it was very um, delicate. So, you know, it, it, it took a while, but I'm happy with the change that we have now. Um, it turned out that the, the, the problem was that it wasn't resetting the data correctly. So it was pretending that properties were attributes. That, that probably doesn't mean much to most users, but there are multiple ways of saving styles within an, within an XML node, and it was confused between what those were on, on reset. Um, that should be fixed now. Um, and while the the delicateness of that code hasn't changed a lot, at least I understand it more, and hopefully I'll be able to fix other issues when they crop up more quickly. Uh, another hard problem to fix was a threshold problem. Uh, last year, Mark added a fix to reduce the number of nodes that crop up when you do a Boolean division. So you take two objects, select them, and then and then do a division on them to cut the paths apart. If you were using circles or paths with arcs in, in them, um, it tried to approximate the, the number of points that were required to get the same arc, and it blew up into thousands of nodes. So Mark put in a fix to, to respect the threshold value, and that worked. It reduced the number of nodes to like 20 instead of thousands, which is much, much more improved. Um, the problem is, is that it, it, the threshold was a fixed quant quantity. So when you zoomed in to maybe like a millimeter uh, or one inch, let's say, uh, the, the results that you would get from a division were incredibly bad. Like it would create three nodes, one node, like not enough to be able to, to maintain the arc at all. And so you, your shapes would be completely deformed. Um, so I had to implement a new feature effectively of being able to, to, to uh, make that threshold value dynamic to the size of the object. So for smaller ob objects, it'll create more nodes or it'll, the threshold will be lower. And for larger objects, the threshold will be higher, uh, which should mean that for larger objects, you'll actually get fewer nodes than when Mark's fix, original fix. And uh, with smaller smaller objects, you'll get more nodes and more, more accuracy. Um, that required some, some tuning as well to make sure that we were... Uh, implementing that in a way that the the size of the object comported approximately with how many uh, approximation nodes that we ended up with. Um, those are all into the uh, 1.1 release, which is great. Uh, most of the week, most of the rest of the week has just been administration, just trying to handhold those problems and those bug fixes and all of the other stuff into the release, because uh, the, the, you've got to do reviews get other people to check off on things and make sure that you're doing the right thing and it looks like it's all going well so um that's pretty much it uh i'm hoping that the the um vectors team will release 1.1 1, 1 .1 in three weeks time that's the that's the scheduled date so i'll be able to give everybody an update then and uh, next week, I'm actually going to be starting on the uh, connector tool improve improvements. So if you've ever used Inkscape's connectors tools, uh, this is a contract that I've been asked to work on um, to improve those connector tools. And now I'll be able to actually, now I'm freed from doing all the bug fixing and getting the release out of the way. I should be free to be able to work on that now. Um, Thank you all very much for for watching this video. Please like and share and, and comment and let me know uh, what you're excited for in the 1.1 1, 1. 1 release. Uh, I know I uh, I made a video for this for this cup to celebrate. So if you if you're also celebrating, uh, let me know uh, if you're making some art. It'd be great to see. And uh, thank thank you all very much for for watching. And I'll see you next week.